All right, so reviewing these guns, and here's one that's tore up on me. Look at this brand on here, R-U-N-Q-I. So this one was, uh, was shooting okay. So I decided I wanted to see what was going on in it, and look what's coming out of it there. Alright, so I'd already decided to review these guns, but uh, I haven't even actually started to real review, but this one here is tore up, and I want to show you what I'm finding inside when I go to pull it open. Same thing full of PVs. So, let's go ahead and finish getting this part, maybe. Look at that. See, look at that, boy. Oh, I already immediately figured out why this gun doesn't shoot no more. This right here is broke somehow, but I don't understand why it's broken or anything. Uh, these guns weren't dropped or abused or anything like that. So, I don't know if this mechanism is any good or not. So basically, this is how it sits in the gun. And it's kind of like in the upside down view because the hopper feeds into this right here and then it's basically a piston right here that just does the flinging well that sounded pretty healthy I think. anyway uh, that throws it down this tube here but uh, it's not been doing that it's been dumping them into the case of the gun so I've got two others that are doing the same exact thing Let's open them up and see what happens. Okay, so here's the second one. And, yeah, that and that tube's not broke like it was in the first one. But, when I, this gun here didn't shoot worth a hoot right out of the box. And right away, I could figure out why. There's this rubber boot, or whatever, here on the end. They didn't put that on this guy right here. So yeah, I'm going to save on these parts. Hopefully the mechanisms are actually good in these. We'll find out though for sure. Like I said, I got another one to take apart. So here we are with the third one, and I'm pretty sure it's full of BBs. Forgot to take that. There we go. Alright, guys. Full of BBs. That tube's broke. It's terrible. So they're breaking in the same exact spot. So, that one does have the little rubber thing on it. Uh, it's really aggravating beyond belief. Really aggravating. So, if you buy these, uh, you can expect that to happen. I've got got two now that it's happened on. Um, I got a new one set in here too that I haven't used yet. And another replacement one on the way. So I'm sure I'm probably going to be filming about the same thing out of those too. And I'll make sure to include the unboxing of those as well. So if they don't work right out of the box, I can just pull it out and show you. It's because they didn't put the little rubber thing on there. And if it shoots good for a little while and then quits, it's because you just snap your tube off. It's got a bling. Water BB stuck in that. So, old oh boy says he wants to quit. They're going to have fun throwing them each other and playing with them because I don't reuse them since they're going to just make the guns dirty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. There you go, there's the two that broke the tubes and see they've got those 
rubber plungers or whatever in the world you want to call them. This guy doesn't have it. So there's two reasons these won't shoot that are not actually technically uh, mechanism related. Alright, so it's been like an hour or two since I took apart those P90s and another P90 just showed up. Hopefully. So, oh man, that's obviously used. Look at that crap. It's scuffed up. God, it's these little things you hook the strap on that's making that noise. Sure it does. Let's hope it does. <laughs> I don't really want to have to take this apart unless I have to. See, so, they're all this brand right here. So, I love you. So I have three of these black ones and those two gray ones that you saw me take apart. So I have two black ones that you have not seen. Well, one left that came yesterday so we got quite a few of these things hopefully I can make something work but really I mean there's always something wrong with every one of these that I've bought it always makes you feel like it's used I mean, look at the freaking box here it's that's rough I just pulled it out and even though it looks like maybe there's different brands of these, I assure you, there are not. This solid craft one right here, well, you see, how many times did it say, I bought this? Now, it doesn't have the blue paint right here, and bless God, it doesn't say do the bad things to the bad people. Um... And also, it doesn't have this laser pointer on it either. That's also a misrepresentation of the product. But all that, all that aside, um, so this gun's about fifty dollars after tax, and you can't even really get it to last a day. Um, you've got, we've got several different ones. We'll get. Let's see, that has that weird word right there. Um, but I told you at the first of the video when I showed you, it's like R-U-N-Q-I or something like that. You can see the name on it. That's the real brand name on that you'll find these. Um, see, there's this one. There's this one. They're the same thing. They are the same thing. Just take the time to look and you'll notice the guns come with exactly the same stuff. Maybe the uh, hopper might be a little different color. But see, look, it's got a different name on it, but it's it's really the same thing. So there's another solid craft. My the other ones I got that I painted gray were really hideous colored, but they're like thirty bucks, the cheapest I could find on here. And if you want to get the get one, I would say get a cheap one and repaint it, or you can pay fifty dollars and get the black one that isn't offensive and ridiculous. So, like I was saying, uh, yeah, so I've purchased this when it was $30 when I bought it. $29.99, see, I, I bought it twice. Well, that's the ones that I painted gray. And, uh, I'm a Christian, I don't like this devil worship shit, and I mean, that's just the way it is. 
but you know you like what you like i'm telling you right now if you buy this gun it's garbage um <coughs> <coughs> I'll, I'll make another update to this video and show you even more because, I mean, at the end of the day, I can show you I have bought five of these guns off, off of Amazon. I've got two brand new set in here that haven't really been used more than like 20 or 30 shots or something really small like that. So, we'll see if it can even make it through a day. Here's those uh, three P90s. Um, look here. Yeah, that one's missing two or three. Oh yeah, that right there's messed up still. So I think it's spring in the right place. So I know this is the one that I fixed today. So here I put uh, the mechanism back in this gun with the unbroken tube. I reassemble and. All right, check, tested it out, but here you go. It's shooting probably about 75 feet. Not even giving it a bunch of up angle. About 10 degrees. Alright, so there's the one I fixed. And these other two are new. As in, like, they only been shot like 20 times, maybe. This one here definitely got farther. Maybe 90 to 100. Here's the other one. And both of these go further than the first one. That I feel. <clears throat> so, um, I've had enough of these already to kind of have a feel on what I think about this. These are awfully cheaply made. They could have been good if they'd just like done a little more looking at it. But I am going to uh, play with these more and uh, there'll probably be another update to this. Because um, I'm sure I'm going to find another common problem in them. Uh, the three black ones I'm keeping, I sent the gray ones back that I was throwing. So hopefully these work out good. Alright, so this thing did it again. And doesn't want to shoot far at all, watch this. Here you go, I know that the video is not that great, but Here's that pig 90 and look at this. Um. Let's see, I'm holding that levelish at that. Well, I finally have one make it, so let's see here. How far is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight or nine, size 14 shoe paces. So, whatever you want to imagine, two, maybe 10 feet. My kid said this is more like a fountain than a gun. So, 
So anyway, let's take this thing apart and I bet the two broke in there. Alright, so here we go. This thing didn't even make it through a full night of play, like maybe an hour or so before it gave it up. that too just like the other one did and babies just went on in here and now where did this come from it's obvious it broke Started breaking and coming apart, sadly. So I'll use a different mechanism in it and investigate that as well. But that's the third one of these that has broke this tube right here in the same blame place. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to say I wouldn't recommend that you buy any of these P90s, um, that are for the, <coughs> um, water gel BB things, that they're not going to hold up, uh, past a week worth of playing at the most. They're going to, they're going to tear up rather quick. Don't get these things. Um, I will post, uh, the progress of how this fix holds up later on in another part and also reviewing the other water BB guns I have and airsoft pistols and whenever I get some rifles that too but I'm not going to get too much into that but I will share what I've figured out with the stuff that I picked up and the regrets obviously um, I love you guys thanks for watching this video and I always want to praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ may bless may richly bless and guide you and your families take care